solution on the textbook, but I don't even my solution. Okay? Can all of you look at this? This is called a composite solid. Okay? Now, the figure shows the glass block made up of a rectangular prism of dimension 32 by 12 by 18. So you can see there's a cuboid below, right? Okay? And half a cylinder on top. Can you see there's a semicircle? And now, this one looks like something like a greenhouse or a loaf of bread, correct? Right? You just cut, okay? Now, the question say the circle is the diameter of what? 12 cm. Calculate the volume and do the total surface area of the glass block. Okay, I'm going to use the formula. Okay, all of you look up. I'm going to explain one first. Now, can all of you see that this one constitute the base area? If I chop this way down, this whole piece will fall off all this way. Okay, see? Then this will be the height. Okay, so this is the base area, this is the height. Correct. Okay. Now, let's take a look. How do we find volume? I must find base area times one. Times height. Now, what does the base area consist of? It is a rectangle plus what? Semi circle, right? Then after that, I times the height, right? I will get the volume. Okay. Now, then, what about the total surface area? Hold up. Can you see? Is this base area that I find? I times two, right? Correct. Now, how to get the parameter of this sheet? This plus this plus this plus this semicircle, right? Okay, then I times the height. I will get all the other faces. Agree what I'm saying? It's exactly the same as what we have done before. Just that we are combining a few solids together. Okay? Alright, now. I'm going to show you the answer. Can all of you look at this picture? Okay. I'm going to transfer this picture onto the side here so that you can see. Would that be okay? Okay, now it looks like that. Then it goes the other way, right? It's like a lot of bread. Right now. So this is a 12 cm, 32 cm, and this is a 18 cm. Are we okay? Now, I'm going to find the volume. Now, all of you look up here. How do I get the volume? Base area is 12 times 18. This one, right? Correct. Plus, pi r square times half, right? Why do I times half? Because it's a semicircle. Now, r square. You must know that this is the diameter is 12. You cannot take 12. Okay, R is what? 12 divided by 2, so it's 6. So, my base area will be this value, you can see it. Now, I told you don't do five truncate or anything. Give to three decimal places. Understand? So that you don't truncate properly. Okay? Now, that volume of freezer will be base area times height, which is 32 rep. Correct? Then I get the answer. Now this is the answer, but all final answer that is not exact will have to be given to three significant figures. So all of you are one, two, three. So it's eight, seven, two, zero. Yes, you know, CMQ. Okay. So this is the volume. Everybody clear? Okay. Now then I'm going on to the total surface area. Now. Let us look at the uh, formula. What's the total surface area? Base area times what? 2 plus what? Delimiter of base times height. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the whole thing. I'm going to do it one whole shot. Huh? Make it a bit smaller so that everything can be captured. Okay. Now can you see I write down the formula? Base area times 2 plus perimeter of base times height. Now, can you see just now I found the base area with you? I times 2. Now, perimeter of base. How do you look? How do I get perimeter of base? 18 plus 12 
plus 89. Correct. Now, circumference of a circle is actually 2 pi r or pi d. Correct. So, I can put pi d, right? But I must half it, right? Semi circle. Then I wrap it and then I times 32, right? Correct. Then I get this answer and finally, I change it to 3 so it will be a 1, 2, 3 and this I will add a 0 Can you see what I'm talking about? All that we have in this particular chapter are all based on all this only We build up from very simple one like cubes and cuboids Then we go on to prism Then we go on to cylinder Right? Then now we are going on to what? Composite solids Composite solids means combined For example, this one is a cuboid combined with a half cylinder. Can see it? Or not? Yes or no? That's why it's called composite. It's a combination. Okay? Now, I want you to improve on your presentation. Therefore, exercise 13D, right? I'm going to do it together with you. Okay? So that you present and just fill in the blanks accordingly. Alright? Okay. May I know what's the number on the content page now? So, you want? Now 4-0 already. Okay. Can you write 4 zero? Today is day. Can you write composite solids? Write composite solids. You know why? Take out the piece of full sketch paper.
can you sketch this figure out?
Sejo times 2. Is equal to DC. Alright? PQ is SR is in 
Can you see what I'm talking about? 
structure. Okay, so before I do this, I want to write this. I will have 377.341 times 2, right? South and back, right? Everybody clear what I'm saying? Yes or no? Front and back, okay. I'm going to plus, huh? I'm going to write like that so that you can see how many, okay? Now, the total rectangle is what? 88 times 25, right? What about the top rectangle? 40 times 25, right? Okay, now, can you tell me what about this rectangle? How do I find the area of this rectangle? 70 4 times what? 25 But these two is the same right? So I will have what? 74 times 25 and times 2 right? Alright There's one more face huh? I said the whole you do, there's still the curved surface correct? That is 2 pi r h Right? 2 pi r h So I plus 2 pi r Now what's r here? 15, very good, times h, which is 25, right? The height of the cylinder is 25. Okay? Alright. I want to know this one for to three decimal places.
slot, okay? I need to add one dimension so that you can see clearer. Now, can you see that from here to here, the radius is 6, right? The question say right? But they say this thing got thickness how much? Ah, so, this is not 45. What is this total length? This whole thing is what? 7.5. Can y'all see? Okay, so, base area will be 5, big circle, semicircle, minus 5, big semicircle, minus small semicircle, correct? Can you see what I'm talking about here? This is important, you thought you cannot do it all. Okay? Now, so what is this answer?
already. I want all to keep quiet, please. Now, can you see that today I did four questions for you? Okay? Now, if you have done it yourself, most likely you can get it correct, but the thing is that you will have a very messy presentation. You understand? Huh? So, you must learn how to present in a very precise and concise manner, and then you get the answer straight away. Is that understood? Okay? Not in bits and pieces that you get it wrong. Okay? Okay, let's stop the video. All of you pass your work forward.